Hello everyone, Pixwitch here and welcome back to the Baker household. So it is nearly 8am and Judith is now up. I can see that she needs to eat breakfast, but she's making a beeline to the computer. I did lower her interest in games now. I changed it to a 5. Yeah, I changed it to a 5. So that was one change that I did between episodes. And then I also made her six days older. That was the second change. And then the last change, right over here, we have the floral workstation. Her one true hobby is nature. Plus, she has the bronze talent badge and flower ranging. So now Judith is going to go to the chess table and just play a quick game. She has the wand, so I just want her to fulfill that real quick and then we'll see what, she, what she wants to do. Today she also has a day off and she wants to get closer to Anna. She also wants to go, go fishing, so she can go to the park to do that. She does have a day off and then work the next day and then a day off on Friday. So I think she can go to the park and see if she meets anyone interesting. So Judith has arrived at the usual place and then I want her to scope the room. See if anyone catches her eye because she does have the one to slow dance with the sim. She also wants to go fishing so she can do that. Oh! Oh! Let's go and check that out. Okay, so Elaine is right over here. So go and greet her, but I also noticed that Connor has arrived. So she is just gonna walk on, <laughs> walk away and go and greet Elaine and then we'll see what Connor will do. But it looks like Connor is making a beeline for the performance on stage. I did see that Samantha is now performing. Okay, so she greets her. And let's see, I don't see any bolts, and I also don't see any bolts over here, so chat. Oh, Connor wanted to go and speak to Judith. But Judith decided to, well, ignore his... Ignore Connor? Oh no, they're not getting along, okay. Well, he wanted to go and approach her, and it doesn't look like... You can go and chant. It doesn't look like Judith and Elaine is a possibility. Yeah, I guess Connor's maybe still a little disappointed. So Judith still wanted to go and fish. She's gonna do that now, even though it's well, we in the middle of a, of a yeah, thunderstorm. She does want to go and play with Connor, so maybe she wants to break the ice. Maybe she wants to make him laugh. So let's go and see. Okay, she can go hiking now. We can also go and do that. But let's go and see where Connor is. If he's still here. Yeah. Okay, so Judith is just tickling Connor. Trying to break the ice between them. And now she wants to appreciate him. And then tell the joke as well. So appreciate and then entertain him with a joke. And now she's just rolling so many ones for him. Oh dear. It's really not the best time to be outside. And then she wants to go and tickle him once again. She really, really wants to go and slow dance with a sim. So let's go and scoop the room once again. And yes. Again and again, she's just rolling once for him. So let's go. Oh, I see so many sparkles. Samantha. Oh my. So she did have a reaction for. Well, she did react to Samantha, but I also saw that the that what's her name, Angela Marshall, that there were sparkles Maybe. around her. So she is attracted to Angela, but it looks like no chemistry. So talk, chat. She is... Well, friendship is important for her, so I can see her getting to know, well, 
nearly everyone in the community. And Samantha is going back to go and perform, but I know that uh, Judith and Samantha won't have chemistry because Samantha is, well, she has a preference for men. Not getting along with Angela Marshall, looks like it. And then also on the romance side, no luck with that at the moment. I do know that that one townie, that blonde townie, what's her name again? What's her name? Hmm, I honestly can't think of her name right now, but that blonde townie, I remember she, she really thought that Maria Marsh is hot, that townie. I know that she has a preference for women, but we haven't seen her yet. I could go and use the, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the phone directory to go and get her number. But I don't want to use that all the time, you know. Well, at least Angela and Judith will go and bond about Samantha's performance. <laughs> Poor Samantha, though. So Judith is gonna go over to Connor to appreciate him. I guess he's feeling a bit bitter, like he was disappointed about their talk, but they really do like each other. Um, I think she probably senses it that things will be okay, hopefully will be okay between them. So, and then Judith, I feel, is gonna say goodbye to him now, and then she's gonna go home to eat, and then she'll go out again to hopefully meet someone. I love it how they just laugh when someone pops like it. So Judith is home. She's going to go and prepare some dinner. Prepare enough so that she has leftovers for the other, other day. When she gets home late from work, for example. Now Judith, she's really in the same situation as Connor. They both really want children and grandchildren. They really want family. They're both alone and they both really want more. But they just not finding a partner. Put away as single plates. They're really not finding someone that they really want to spend the rest of their life over. Connor does have a few options. Judith, however, no. No one whatsoever. And she really does want to marry off six children. That's what she really, really wants. She wants family, as you can see. Really wants children. So maybe for her, it's not really about the partner. Maybe it's really just children. Maybe she's a romantic. That could be a possibility, because right now she's just... Well, she does find women attractive, but right now... Right now, I'm not seeing romance in her life. So it could be that she's a romantic, like she does want children, but what about romance? Hmm. <laughs> so I was thinking of sending Judith out to the coffee shop, for example, but I think she's just going to get ready for the night and then maybe work on a few bouquets. But before she starts working on the on flower arranging, then she can go and call Justin. Yeah, they are close to becoming best friends, so I think she can call him over and then they can become best friends face to face. And then after that she can go and work on flower arranging. So Justin is coming right over and then now Judith is going to make some wildflower, well a wildflower bouquet. So I think that one and... Yeah, I think that is fine. Like, for example, she found flowers while she was out hiking, because she now has that option with her nature enthusiasm. So I'm imagining that she found the flowers somewhere, somewhere in Belladonna Cove in the mountains. And now she has gained enthusiasm in arts and crafts. I can read about it. Okay, so Justin is here. Okay, so let's go and greet him. And dear Justin is here. So she is going to admire him. And then they are going to go and talk, catch up, even though it's like 11 p.m. 
mangy blood. Mm. Or maybe she's asking him if he went out recently, if he met any mitten lady, or caught his eye. But Justin chooses instead to change the topic. <laughs> He'd rather talk to her about birds and roller skating. And Judith knows that he's changing the topic. <laughs> okay, uh, thinking about good friends. Just give him a friendly hug. And yeah, he can actually come inside. So Judith is talking to Justin about nature. All the flowers that she can find. And Justin's response to that is positive about that. I guess he's... And they are best friends. Excellent. I am so happy. She wants to fall in love. So she does want a partner. She also wants to gain a skill point. But I was going to say that... What do you want to do next? Just chat, I guess. So Justin still doesn't have a job and she's gaining more fame now. Justin doesn't have a job, so I imagine that he's walking around a lot. Um, I also imagine that Belladonna Cove, closer to the hills and the mountains, that they are like hiking paths. And that is maybe something that I want to add to the neighborhood. Like neighborhood decorations with paths leading up through trees. Just extra details. So I imagine that when people in Balladonna Co Cove go hiking, they they really in Balladonna Cove. The city is right there, but I imagine that it's a nice view when you get up, get high up, then you can see all the city lights, and then you see well the lake or the ocean. They're gonna go so. Oh, speaking about la about a lady that she just met. Speaking about the lane. Okay, so it is 1am, you're gonna say goodbye. I am so happy that they're best friends now. And Judith needs to go to bed. So it is half past eight, Judith just got out of the bathtub and she's just really burning up. So she's staying in her towel. She's going to have some leftover grandma's comfort soup for breakfast. And I see she still has a romance on the brain. So uh, yeah, I was I was thinking that she's probably a romantic. Maybe she does want romance, but does she need to get married? That's also something else. We all want affection and comfort, but you don't need to get married. And that's fine as well. But today, Judith is gonna go to work. Couple is going to arrive at 2 p.m. Uh, she does want to go and play a computer game as well. But honestly, her fun boy is fine. And also Connor, I had that locked in for a while now. I think she can probably call him over. Or she just can go and call him over the phone. She's really testing the waters with him. Like, is he, is he fine? She feels that they are fine because things were a little awkward in the park. But just before she left, then things were really fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. So he's not at home. But she is still hungry so she can go and eat again. So Judith is continuing with her bouquet and I'm just sitting over here keeping an eye on... Well, all the town is walking past because... Oh, she finished it. Okay, excellent. Because Donna Wade, that's her name, that is the blonde townie who has a preference for women. And then she's going to the computer probably to play a game. Yes, so we have that bouquet of flowers Done. So we can go and put it somewhere. I think I'm just gonna go and put it over here on the counter. Just giving the room an extra pop of colour. But yes, Donna Wade is the... Oh, and it sounds like someone's at the door. So you can go and turn that off. Donna Wade was the townie that I was thinking about earlier, so... Maybe, maybe they will have something, we'll see. So the couple will arrive in an hour and then Richard Rogers, he was, well, previously the, one of the apartment residents over here. So he came to visit her, which is really, really sweet of him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, network. Oh, okay. And then still and Morgan was walking past. You know, I think you'd really hit it off with this person I know. I'd love to set you up on a blind date right here and now. Are you interested? The couple's going. But yes, I am so interested. I want to see who pops up. It's a lady, Betsy Carroll. Okay, interesting. Hey, we just met, but do you want to go out? Two balls. Okay. Okay, so they both want to talk to each other. Oh my, oh my dear. <laughs> it looks like Bitsy was... Yeah. yeah, she does immediately want to be best friends with her and she wants to dance with her and play with her. Um, oh, what? <laughs> oh my, Judith. That was just... And the couple's here now. Okay, so, uh, thanks, I guess. But that could have been better, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but off she goes. But this was unexpected. So unexpected. Well, we'll see what will happen. So Judith is home. And the moment she came home, she was thinking about adoption. But I want her to just play a real quick so that she gets rid of that wand. Oh, okay, so that just <laughs> that is simply replaced by uh, other ones to play a computer game. But she does want to thinking about babies. So yeah, that that is what I mean. Like maybe she her focus is really children, and the partner is maybe. <laughs> Uh, talking about kissing to him. Maybe he's asking about the date, but then she's like, I had to go to work. But it was interesting while it lasted. And then she wants to take things slow, see what happens. Yeah, but I'm wondering now because of her. Well, she and Connor, like I said earlier, they have. Uh, children and grandchildren in mind. They're really all about family. So maybe, maybe she's going to date Betsy and maybe fall in love with her, but will she really like commit to her? She is a family symbol that doesn't mean that she needs to get married. I don't marry off all family sims. Sometimes I have a romancem get married. Sometimes after they fulfill the lifetime wand of woohooing with so many sims or falling in love with so many sims. But we'll see, we'll see what Judith wants. But right now I really, like Connor, I really, really see her as the type to focus on her future. Oh, so 2am and bits is yeah. And the relationship did have a boost because of that sudden date. Oh, okay. I did expect that to happen, but she could have... It would have been a bit more exciting if she would have stayed. Maybe Betsy Carroll's gonna play hot and cold with Judith. She just pops up at 2am and then she just leaves like that. And now she wants to be BFFs with Justin. Uh, turn that off. But then she and Connor can become best friends in the morning, basically. But now she's gonna go and sleep. So Judith is at the gym, and I also see that we need to go and change the gym clothes. But I decided to send her here, because as a patrol officer, she does need body points. She doesn't need any, any right now for promotion. But basically, I sent her yeah because Connor is at work and Betsy is at work. Yeah. So I thought, oh, poor, poor Tara. <laughs> Careful, darling. Uh, so, Judith is here. Just thinking about the last few days, thinking about her unexpected date with Betsy. It didn't start out so well, but Betsy did go and, well, accept Judith's advances. Because Judith did go and hit on her. 
So she's thinking about that. So then also thinking about her unexpected visit, you know. Really, really unexpected visit. She just came there in the morning, early, early in the morning, and then she just walks away, so we'll see what we can do with that relationship. But right now I really see Judith and Betsy's relationship as hot and cold. Yeah, I'll see. I'll see what I can do with that. And I also see that Jeff Rutherford is here and she gained a body skill point. And then also Marissa Cleveland is here as well. So yeah, siblings are here at the same time. So Judith has gained enthusiasm in fitness to talk about it. And I also see that Jason Cleveland is here. So basically the whole Cleveland Rutherford family is here. Except for dear Justin. I wonder if Tara and Justin, I mean Jason, Tara and Jason are going to maybe argue they don't like each other. So I wanted Judith to go and speak to Jason because he is Belladonna Cove's detective, her superior, but he left so instead she is going to go and greet uh, Jason's brother-in-law. And I also see that Christine Baker is here. Oh, she's reacting to Jeff. So maybe, maybe she's working. Oh, Jason is here. Hello. Let's go and greet your superior. I was going to say, Christine Baker's maybe working on her body skill point because she's a field researcher. So you go and talk to your, yeah, talk to Paladona Cove's detective for a while. Bonding with him about food healthy food, healthy living. Oh, and then once again she likes to gossip about Elaine and then also the the bad witch popped up and then everyone is like reacting to poor Christine. So Judith is talking to Frances the bad witch because she feels that as one of Belladonna Cove's cops she has to keep an eye on the local witch population, witch warlock population. And that was her duty for the day, so she is gonna go home now. So Judith is home from the gym, she's just going to eat something real quick, and then she's gonna invite over Betsy Carroll. And then after she invites her over, she can probably just give Connor a quick call, so that they become best friends. And Betsy is going to come right over, and now she is best friends with Connor. And now she wants to be BFFs with him. She also wants to be friends with her superior, Jason. So that is also interesting that she wants that. So they are happy to see each other so they can go and chat. And then I think they can also go and share interests. Betsy is just pulling face, doesn't really look that interested. Maybe, maybe Judith is talking about, oh, talking about dates now. And Betsy, well, initially she really, she really wasn't positive about the date, talking about the date. Let's see how she responds about tortoises, nature, everything that she can find. What about animals? Do you like fluffy rabbits? Hmm, looks like she does. So they share that in common. All the animals you can find in nature. And what about the relationship? 87 over 30. Okay, so entertain. Let's try a dirty joke. Okay, let's see how she responds to that. Joking about charismatic people. Hmm. <laughs> okay, but she did like that. She really did like that. Okay, how about you try flirting with her? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, Samantha's here. Hello. So Judith automatically charmed her, so... Oh. Oh, you really at this... at this... <laughs> At 7 p.m. you want to go in bird watch. But Betsy has a crush on her and 
Judith doesn't. This is her priority. You know, she wants to go and bird watch when she has a lady in her apartment, a lady that she is attracted to, a lady she has chemistry with. The relationship didn't start all that well. The date just started and then ended. Yeah, she's definitely attracted to Pitsy, and then now she's gonna go and sit next to her, just looking at each other a little awkwardly. So go and join her. Talking about best friends. And Judith is hoping that they become best friends. Looks like Betsy has an interest in the paranormal. Oh, and someone is calling. Let's go and see who it is. And it looks like it's the other... Oh. Oh, hey Judith, you seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product. And then here is a sample for you to mess around with. A TV. I thought it would be a TV. There we go. So I put the TV on the wall. A nice bigger TV. We can also go and upgrade this entertainment system. But yeah, that is her other former apartment resident neighbor. What's his name again? Christian Olsen. Yeah, I changed the default replacement of his ears and now he's wearing a top hat. So Judith does want to fall in love, but at the moment she just wants to be best friends with Betsy. Yeah, occasionally she rolls the one to go and slow dance with them. But we can explore this relationship in the next run, next time we see Judith, because it is Friday 10pm. We can go and talk about arts and crafts, about the flowers that you are arranging. And then after that you can go and appreciate maybe oh we can ask her questions what are your skills what's your job what do you like what don't you like what do you want and then what do you fear i'm not really good at anything do you like what you see she is a gold farmer okay she likes pit lovers. She really doesn't like aliens. And she wants to be best friends with Judith. And what else? She feels getting sick. And then, do you like what you see? He really, really does. So Judith is gonna try to give her a friendly hug and she accepts that because she really likes it that... Let's go and chat that uh, Betsy admitted that she likes. Judith, she likes. She sees in Judith. So now they're just getting to know each other. Sometimes they agree about stuff, sometimes they don't. But now she's just saying thank you to Betsy for coming over. And then they're gonna say goodnight. So Judith is getting ready for Ben. She's just in the bathroom now and she had an interesting round. She sat down with Connor, had a heart to heart with him. She became closer to Justin and she had an unexpected date that ended well quite quickly. She had to go to work. She had some hot and cold interaction with Betsy Garrell. They are attracted to each other and Betsy confessed that she does like what she sees in Judith. Judith, however, doesn't have a crush on Betsy. But we'll see what will happen with Judith in Justin's round and then in Connor's round. But then this is going to be it for the uh, Judith Baker. Then this is also going to be it for the Between the Seasons. I'm just going to end the season here with Judith Baker. Just with the two Sims, Maria Marsh and Judith. And then uh, sometime soon-ish, the second season of Belladonna Cove is going to start. And then we will see what will happen with Maria as well. We will see Maria in Jessica's round. And Jessica is the first household up in the season, in the next season. So we will see Maria soon. So that will be exciting. But everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon, hopefully. But until then, take care. Big sweet chat.